Legionnaire's disease is a type of pneumonia and it's relatively rare around the world and in New South Wales we see something like 60 to 100 cases a year of Legionnaire's disease. It's caused by infection with a particular bacteria called Legionella and you breathe it in and that can then cause a pneumonia or a lung infection. Legionnaire's bacteria can, there are different types and some live in the soil and can be a risk to gardeners when you're um, messing around in the soil and gardening and so on or using potty mix in particular. Um, and other types uh, can be caused by um, when you're breathing contaminated water vapour. And that water vapour can come from a range of sources but one of the more common ones is cooling towers which have um, pools of water in them and they're part of large air conditioning systems. And those cooling towers cool down the air and then can sometimes release um, some vapour that if that's contaminated and you're walking beside that building uh, and you breathe in that water vapour that has Legionnaires in it, then you can get infected that way. Legionnaires disease can occur any time of the year, but we tend to see an increase in autumn when there's a cooling down of the weather, of course, and people are turning off and on or varying their cooling systems in large buildings, and that is thought to maybe uh, be more likely to release some contamination if, if contamination is indeed in one of these cooling towers. So one of the real messages here is that it's really important that cooling tower operators, if somebody's operating a building and they have a cooling tower in it for their air conditioning system, that they double check that they're maintaining their cooling tower according to the law. And the Public Health Act in New South Wales requires building operators to ensure that their cooling towers are properly maintained, regularly disinfected and uh, inspected so they're not a source of contamination and therefore outbreaks of Legionnaires disease.